Okay. I'm hoping you can see me. I'm sitting kind of in a weird place in my living room to try and film this. Um, why am I out of focus? Also, how can I turn you a little bit more like this? that okay not as good as I'd hoped um, I'm guessing you're just gonna have to not see me all that much can you see enough of me is this good enough usually I film during daytime uh, I don't know why I felt like doing this during nighttime but Probably because of the um, maybe I can get a second lighting. Hmm. Or if I just turn this ooh, around like that. Ooh. I don't know how good I look, but at least the lighting's better. Let's try and do this, even though it's kind of uncomfortable for my eyes. Um, okay, now, I hope you can't hear the dishwasher in the background. That would be horrifying. And I would have to speak over this footage, which I really don't want to do. Um, so, in my last video, I said I wanted to talk about some glitches in the matrix and Mandela effects. And I wrote myself some notes. Also, uh, there was one person, one very sweet, lovely person who said they wanted to hear about this. And I also had a chat going, maybe I'll post it here, with some random on YouTube, which got this whole thing started. So thanks to that person for... For getting my brain uh, working on it and for kind of indirectly suggesting this idea so um, this is not the right notes hang on uh, there it is I have several notes so this might be a little bit of a messy video um, I'm gonna try and do it all in one take and just like do cuts whenever I have to think about stuff but I will do my best um, when I started working on this, I, it was 4 in the morning, which, it's not that close, it's about to be 2 in the morning now, um, and, uh, oh yeah, I thought about going for a run and decided not to, and instead started writing all my thoughts down. Um, I had three consecutive déjà vus as it was like happening. I first had one, then another, and then a third. Um, and I don't know if you've had déjà vu, but it's very like it grips you. And some people like déjà vus, other people hate it. Um, and some people are just like, oh, that was a déjà vu. And I was younger, probably in high school, early high school, um, my teacher, it's kind of ironic, now I'm the teacher, my teacher then, my uh, science teacher told me that it was just like a double sending of a signal to the brain, but I don't think that adequately describes it, I don't think science has, I'll look into it, but I don't think we know entirely what it is. And I just feel like déjà vu is way more um, than just like some signaling thing. Uh, might be wrong here. Uh, feel free to disagree with this, but I feel like déjà vu is such an intense feeling, and it just doesn't. That's kind of what I wrote in my notes too. 
So I, when I get deja vu, it's not the same thing happening twice. It's a distinct feeling of this has happened a bunch of times and I'm just like circling around and doing the same thing. And one of my theories about this is that um, let's say we're on like a grid and there are multiple new universes happening all at once and every decision is forking off in different directions. Um, then what if all of me on all of these previous planes are making the same conscious decision or unconscious decision to do a certain thing and that flips a switch in your brain because they are colliding together oh shit a hundred of us decided to do this same thing and then the next decision might focus all off in different directions and to some people i've heard jenna marble say this that she feels as if she's on the right path because of that um, and that could be true to some extent, like everybody agreeing to the same thing. If this is a simulation, why wouldn't it be so that when it all coincide, that's the correct move. And when all coinciding over and over and over again, that's the path it's meant to be on. To me, however, doing the same thing kind of like it makes me feel uncomfortable like not cringe but close to cringing like it's uncomfortable I don't like it um, and so that's why I think my experience and my like thought process here might be quite different uh, but it could also it, these are all just theories I don't think anybody knows if you do know and if my science teacher was correct um, then yeah this is a bunch waste of time but also, I think it's interesting to discuss other theories that aren't just based in the physical world. I think the metaphysical and everything outside of the physical is way more interesting. And that's probably also why I'm a little loose in the brain, because I keep thinking about this. So, um, uh, what was the other theory I had? I just got to rethink some stuff. Um, Oh yeah, the other one is just so dark and sad, but that's more of like a feeling that I've done this before, but I couldn't possibly have done it before. Um, so why is somebody resetting me, kind of? As if I've lived this exact life, life so many times, as if uh, you're playing a video game and somebody just says, oh, I want to start a new server. That's how it feels. Hey, baby. My cat just came running in. Hey, you want to say hi to me? No, he wants to play. Um, so that's kind of unsettling. Like, I have to figure out the right choice in every situation for it not to be reset. Or it's a game that someone is playing uh, outside of this world. Um, and like outside the universe, not just here. Or outside the universe doesn't exist. I don't know. Just so you guys know, I know that I sound insane. I know that. And these are just my thoughts. This is just like a stream of consciousness of what goes on in here in a very small form of it. And I know I speak very slowly. I don't know why, but it's really hard for me to talk sometimes because it goes, there's so much stuff happening up here and I'm trying to formulate it in a way that you can kind of understand it. So please let me know if this is like not the type of video anybody wants. But I'm posting it anyway, and I think it's good for me to dare to tell people what ha what's happening inside my brain. Um, and maybe it can encourage some of you guys to be honest about what you're thinking about stuff. Um, but yeah, that like strange feeling. Uh, I might have to cut some of this because I don't know if I'm explaining it well. But uh, let's see in my notes here if I took some notes about something else interesting. Um, oh yeah, uh, Deja Vu gives me panic attacks, I didn't mention that. Um, it's really overwhelming and it might just be correlated to some anxiety disorder or as somebody called it, panic disorder. Um, but I, I don't believe that you get panic from nothing. Uh, maybe you can create that, but I'm usually a very like calm person maybe not everybody would describe me that way but in situations they usually call for like panic.
panic I don't uh, it doesn't stress me out the things that are not in this world like not in the physical you can touch it see it smell it all of that so basically my thoughts <laughs> My thoughts give it panic, which is probably the same with all anxieties, like you're scared of driving or being on a plane and it's just your thoughts that are scary. But I would understand more the, um, like almost getting in a car accident or getting in a car accident, like physical things that happen that frighten you make sense because it's a fear response to something. But having a fear response without any external something creating it is very strange to me. And that just kind of intensifies it, I guess. Uh, but I, I've been better at controlling it. I've been better at not like totally flipping out. And maybe this is too personal for YouTube and for the amount of people who follow me. Um, I'm still gonna post it, I think. I think it would be nice. Um, if I saw a video like this, I would like to see that there is somebody else out there feeling this way and just not feel so alone in these feelings. So I guess I'm doing it. Um, remember to skip ahead. I'm probably going to try and put something in the comments about when I talk about what. So if you're not interested in this and you're just here for the Mandela stuff, skip ahead. Oh no, my battery is about to die. Oh shit. Okay. I'm going to have to go charge it and then do the Mandela. Crap, I'll talk as long as the battery is there. It's just blinking red. Um, oh, yeah. This is uh, kind of a big one, too, I guess. Um, well, there are two more things on this topic. Then I'll charge my battery and talk about the Mandela thing. Um, it's... Uh, I feel like I'm kind of going insane when I have these overwhelming feelings as if everybody else knows what's going on and I'm the only one who just doesn't get it. Like I feel so stupid and so ignorant and just like, am I the only one? Am I missing something? Uh, am I missing something very obvious? Um, and I mean missing something obvious as in, oh yeah, everybody's an actor, obviously. Um, or, yeah, obviously this is a simulation and uh, you just got to make the best of it. Um, yeah, maybe this is too crazy. Let's move on. The other like glitch in the matrix thing is that I have this very distinct sensation when the day changes. I used to feel that the day didn't change until I had slept. But now that I've been staying up late, there is this time and night where I can feel it as if somebody's like flipping a switch or like turning the page or turning the day. It's very, very creepy and it's the same time. And I'm wondering if anybody else has this and then maybe I'll reveal what time it is for me. Um, but for now, I'm not gonna tell you when, but it is a very distinct, like it's a new day. It's like being reset. And you kind of feel like, after you've slept, for instance, you feel like some of the things uh, from the previous day, at least I do, are like slipping further and further behind you in your mind. And it's like that happened at a specific time, even when I'm awake. Somebody suggested to me that this might be because I'm doing meditation, and after meditating, it feels like a reset. Um, or maybe I'm just crazy. I don't know. But that's uh, one of these feelings that are kind of strange, that makes me think that there are something more. And also, um, I don't know if this is true for everybody, but I've heard that people with... Okay, so I charged the battery. Um, it's probably not going to last that long, because it's only been a few minutes, or about half an hour since I started. But. Uh, the thing is that I kind of want to try and get this done now so it's a little bit more cohesive instead of doing it again tomorrow. So uh, where I left off, let's see. Um, yes, I ended on the um, 
obsessive compulsive disorder. I don't know exactly where I cut out, but I'll try and scrap this together as best as I can in editing. Um, so, as I said, I don't know if it is everyone with OCD, but a lot of them, as far as I've heard, have numbers uh, connected to their OCDs. Um, and a lot of those numbers correspond with uh, a lot of programming language. And I feel like that's just another kind of hint in the universe that it's more of a computer. And who says, even though to us, like comparatively to us, the universe is very big. But comparatively to what might be outside, we might be super, super small. And I know there has been studies on like what's in our cells aren't the same as what's outside in the universe. But who's to say we aren't on like a micro, micro, microscopic, nanoscopic level of that again. Like the whole universe could just be a tiny, tiny part of one cell in something else. Um, or in a computer. I used to say the universe is in a simulation, and I'm not even talking about the type of simulation that Elon Musk's talking about. Um, for all I know, it could be different. But um, yeah, anyways, uh, I'm gonna move on now. I think, yes, to the Mandela effect. And uh, then after that, I'm going to wrap it up and make it a little bit more understandable again to what I've been talking about previously about the multiverses and everything coming together. Hopefully, this will make sense to somebody out there, maybe not to everybody, and maybe you all just think I'm insane, and maybe I am. I don't know. Um, but the fact that at least I'm questioning my sanity should be a good sign. Um, I, I'm not sitting here being like, this is it, I'm right, I know this is it, I, I have no idea. Uh, this is just how I feel and what's going on in my brain. So, um, yeah, uh, I'll try and remember as much as I can. I know I have notes on it, but I have so many notes that I can't always find what I'm looking for. It's not the best organized wise. Um, anyways. What I started talking about with this guy on YouTube uh, under like a Mandela Effect video is that I had a favorite movie as a kid uh, besides like Lion King and those like Disney movies. There was a movie where there was an animal. I feel like it was kind of a fox, but I don't remember. Um, which is why this is really hard to find because I don't remember a lot about it. I was very young. I also don't remember the name and this could all just be like a dream. But from what I remember, I had a movie that I really liked to watch and even when I was a kid, I asked my dad about it because it was in VHS times so we had it on tape and I went to go watch it. I put it in and there was nothing. Like it was blank. And I asked my dad about it and he was like, oh yeah, it's been lying on top of like some electronics and they probably like demagnified. He said a bunch of stuff as a kid I didn't understand, but I kept it in mind because I thought it was so strange. Then later, like in my 20s, I had this with a different movie that I'll talk about soon. Um, and it made me want to go look for this movie. So it's an animal that's skating. Mostly there's, it's on like a yacht or a boat or something. Um, that's what I remember, but he skates on land too. But it's like a skating animal, and it's just like rolling around, having fun, and I cannot find it. So if you know or have any idea what I'm talking about, please let me know, because it's driving me insane. And also, if you know about this, like magnetizing or demagnetizing something, if that's even possible, I would like to know that. Um, cause he convinced me as a kid, I was like, oh, okay, well, better not put the VHS's there then, why are we keeping them there? Um, so yeah, but it's super weird, like, I put it in, and it was gone, blank. Um, and I can't seem to find it. Uh, and as I said, I was really young, this is probably like 25 years ago, it's really hard in your memory. Especially when you hear the next part of this, my theory as to what happened. Um, Anyways, uh, the other movie 
that bugs me way, way more. I used to talk to my ex-boyfriend about this and we went online to try and look for it. And I looked through pages upon pages on Wikipedia, on IMDb, for all movies containing either even aliens, AI, singularity, um, and basically science fiction. And I looked probably through thousands of movies and their trailers and if it was that movie and I cannot find it. So if you can find this, I'll be amazed and I'll be really happy. <laughs> so let me know if you have an idea. But just know that I have searched uh, long and hard for this. And once again, I don't remember the title. You might think that that's like, oh, she doesn't remember the title, so it's not real. I don't remember the title of like any movies that I see. Uh, I don't know why, it just doesn't really stick in my brain. Uh, at least not most movies. Um, and songs too, I'm really bad with this. Anyway, what it's about is that there is this one guy who has... The thing is, I don't even remember anymore if that's how it started. But what I remember, like the shots of this, is that there is one guy um, that has like a computer, but it's more than a computer. Uh, and somebody's after him trying to get it, and he releases it um, online. And it becomes an aware self teaching AI that evolves into a singularity. And then I remember a shot of even a specific actress, I found her, uh, I'll put it in here if I remember, but I know which actress is in this part. Um, and she is like talking with the UN and all like the people in charge on how to deal with this. Um, and they shut off the internet and then they shut it back on. And as they're shutting it back on, this AI goes like levels above. It's no longer just an intelligent self-learning. It's so far above humankind and AIs that it's basically become a god and they don't know how to stop it so and here's how in my brain i feel like i've just watched a bunch of movies and molded them together in my head because to stop it they upload uh, a human brain like i don't even know how uh kind of probably like uh the movie um see i don't remember what it's called the one with johnny Depp. Uh, where he gets uploaded and it's his consciousness um, but they upload this to fight the other one so like the human version and the uh, other one and they are kind of like going at it with each other and one of them wants to like end humanity and the other one wants to spare it because it has the human feelings in it but it's not as evolved as the computer one because the computer one has seen all of humanity knows everything can think so far ahead that it's that it's so far beyond uh, it's hard to explain anyway so maybe I'll have to cut this out because I don't remember enough for this to even make sense and it might just be something I made up in my head uh, I don't know honestly I don't know um, something else that just came to mind that I might as well just mention right now is uh, this strange feeling I had when I was a kid where multi this happened so often as if I could because I've heard somebody else say this too so I don't feel as crazy saying it but as if certain things that happen very often uh, that I could see them coming and at the time I didn't know that I was seeing them coming I just thought they happened uh, and then in retrospect, that's probably how I think about it now. But I heard, for instance, my dad come home. And when I was younger, I just thought there were ghosts. Like literally, that was my explanation. There are ghosts. I don't think that anymore. Um, there might be ghosts, but I don't think this was that. Or maybe you could explain it as a ghost. Um, like a lag or something in the universe. Um, my battery is probably going to run out again. <laughs> I keep talking so much. This is going to be a long video. Uh, anyway, I could hear him come home, put like, um, 
like the groceries back in the fridge. Uh, I even saw the shadow because we had like, this glass door uh, where I was sitting watching TV and I could see him pass the glass door as he went into the kitchen and started unloading. And then I said, hi dad, and he didn't reply. And I was like, hi, and he still didn't reply. And so I went into the kitchen and nobody was there. And then I went downstairs and nobody was there. And I was just like, okay, ghosts. Um, and then just a few minutes later, he would walk in the door, do all of those things. And I would be like, did you just like come in and do all of this again? And it would freak me out. And that was not a deja vu. Um, it actually happened like that. But I know there is no way of proving any of this. I'm not even trying to convince anybody. Um, just saying I'm not lying. Um, this just makes me sound crazy anyways. Why would I want to lie about it? Um, what else? I'm just going to look at my notes because I had kind of an overall idea for this video. Oh yeah, uh, now it gets really crazy. Because part of my theory here is that um, that I slipped into, I just, I, I've never said this out loud, I don't think, to any human ever. Um, because I feel insane saying it, but it feels as if I slipped uh, from one timeline into the other. So the video missing, for instance, um, and the movie that's now gone, as far as I know, if it even existed to begin with, um, and me hearing my dad coming home, but then he wasn't. All of these instances, along with so many other, um, there are so many personal experiences I've had with people where they don't remember what I remember or they remember something that I remember didn't happen. And maybe you can all just chalk this up to like memory being unreliable, which I know it is, uh, but it gets weirder, <laughs> just stay with me. Um, but it feels as if I was in one of these parallel it's not really parallel, but one of these universes and then I slipped into one of the other where everything underneath, every action, everything else was different. Maybe not every, but like things happened in a different way. There were different choices made in that one. And then maybe I slipped back into it and then back into another. And it feels as if I've done this so many times. So in reference to the story about my dad, if I was slipping into a different one, uh, just briefly, I he might have come home early that day, uh, like a couple minutes earlier, and then I slipped back in and I'm like, where are you? Why are you not replying to me? Because he hadn't come home yet in that universe. If that makes any sense to anyone. Uh, same with like personal histories and my life, I can feel like deep in me that I'm so mad at somebody uh, for something that's happened and then it's like I slipped into a universe where they didn't do that to me but I remember it both ways. I remember both things happening but the feeling is kind of gone and to them it's like it never happened. Um, and there are other like really creepy instances where I talk to my mom and she's like we've been over this so many times And I don't even know if she knows what she's saying when she says that or maybe I'm the dumb one and she's like We've been in this simulation so many times. So I can you never get it right? I don't know um, But that stuck with me and it's super super creepy and other times where I'm like Why did you say that to me back then that hurt my feelings and she's like I've never said, why would I say that? So I do realize that some of these things just sound like somebody scapegoating me or something, and maybe that's true, that I'm just gullible and people are trying to pretend like I didn't do certain things. Um, so you can just like put that aside if that's what you think it is. Um, I really don't feel that way, but it could be. Um, but how do you explain all the videos? And that also could just be my mind making up stories to some extent. I know that I have a very visual memory, um, but I don't know, which is why I'm deciding to post this even though I might seem like a crazy person, um, just to see if there's anybody else who feels this way or have had similar experiences as me, um, in the hopes that maybe we can find each other and talk about this and maybe figure something out. So strange, and this happens so freaking often, you would not believe me. Like, you probably don't believe any of the things I've told you so far, because it's insane. Now let me look at some of the notes to see if there's something I missed. Um, 
Oh yeah. Um, it just keeps getting weirder and weirder and uh, I'm getting more and more unsure about posting this video. Anyway, I'll, I'll just say to the camera and then we'll see what happens. Um, but it sounds... It feels to me like in multiple different creepy scenarios and maybe if you're a psychologist you're like oh this is just your trauma from this or this that's happened and you're working through it maybe it is just my subconscious uh, or maybe there is some underlying like subconscious in the world which is what I kind of feel because yeah anyways um, I feel like I'm a different person now than who I was and I don't mean in the regular oh I was a different person back then I feel I literally was a different person with a different history, with different backgrounds, with different things happening to me. And this goes very far into very crazy land, so I'll try and not go there. Um, but it's like I've experienced, sometimes it's like I've experienced a different life than what people around me have seen me experience or have lived through. And it's like I understand it and I know it and therefore it's kind of okay but then I think about it a lot and I'm like I went back into this universe where I have the same experiences and I don't have to feel this and so I flip over into that one um, it's so hard to explain an unfinished theory kind of um, so maybe I'll add something to this in the future um, when I can but basically what it boils down to is this feeling of multiple universes and multiple dimensions and all the different people and then underneath all of that through all of history uh, it's like living through all the stuff that's happened up until that point and not just in this body and not just in this life and not just in this universe but having like the feeling of all of it um, and maybe this is a more common thing that I'm just not aware of because I don't know anybody who talks about this stuff. Um, but it is like a collective unconscious of all the past. And I've heard Alex Jones say it maybe once that he can feel his ancestry. For me, it's not just a feeling of like my parents and their parents and their parents. It's like distinct memories of a different time a distinct memories and a feeling of having been here for so long like when I'm suicidal it's not because I can't or won't try and get better it's because I I don't know how to keep on living forever that's what it feels like to live forever and to have that like heaviness on you that it, you just gotta keep on going forever um, and sometimes that's okay and sometimes it isn't um, yeah I feel like I sound too crazy and I don't know if I can post this anywhere um, let me see if there's something I missed um, mm, no that's basically the end of it as far as my notes go so, if you watch this, do you think I'm insane? <laughs> you probably do. Um, maybe, I, maybe I just think too much. Um, and I just, I'm just connecting with my subconscious and it's a different way. But it does remind me of something that happened that at the time... Because I can feel it from your standpoint where you might be in life that you're like, oh, this bitch is crazy. Um, I was feeling that a few years ago when I went to a party and people said, I'm trying to reprogram my history. And they explained it. And I was like, that's insane. You can't change what happened. Now I think very differently about that. I don't necessarily think you can change that specific timeline but I think you can jump into another one where something else happened and maybe you can change it too I might be wrong um, but I come at it from a different perspective now and all I ask is that you don't 
don't be mean to me because I'm saying this because I'm being extremely vulnerable and this is hard for me to talk about um, but if you don't believe me that is 100% okay um, I don't think I would believe me so uh, yeah fun video um, maybe I'll think of some more Mandela effects when I'm editing this and I'll put them in because um, I do think there are plenty and I don't necessarily think I don't know what I think uh, as I said I think memory is unreliable and um, it could just be completely wrong we could all just be manipulated or be manipulating uh, I feel like that happens all the time when somebody says no that's not what happened in history and if enough people say it then you start thinking oh that isn't what happened um, but I just think it changes along the way and not just because somebody's making something up uh, I think it changes more as in we can change it still and it's a scary thing and if that is true then yeah that's very scary and a lot of bad things could come from it so maybe this shouldn't be uploaded to the internet if I'm right about any of this that's the thing I'm probably not I'm probably just an old soul as they say or just a very depressed very tired person or just crazy and I need some medication who knows If you stayed and watched this entire video, thank you so much. Um, leave your thoughts in the comments. Leave a like if you actually liked it. Leave a dislike if you didn't like it. Uh, or just don't watch videos you don't like. I don't know. Um, I post videos every week, so come back next week if you want to see more of me. And let me know if you want some more of my thoughts or if you just want me to do silly things. Okay. Have a nice day. Bye.